we might look at that and say, well, that's not exactly a very graceful transition right here. So let's look at another uh, nice feature in Fillet Edge. Run Fillet Edge again, and in this case, I'm not going to select edges, but I'm going to edit. So I'll click Edit, and then I pick my object, and I get now to go back in and change all those handles. So it remembers all the stuff that I put in earlier, and I can move this back, let's say, and get a more graceful transition. Okay. So the edit on the fillet edge command works on objects that have been created with fillet edge in Rhino. So it doesn't recognize fillets that are not made by fillet edge. But when you use fillet edge, it notifies Rhino that this thing can be edited by the fillet edge command in subsequent sessions of Rhino. Okay, so that's what we just did there is we just went back to edit uh, a previously made fillet and clean it up because we did, it just didn't look very nice. Just going to move that back a little more and hit enter.